Tractor. She picked this up at the Goodwill Benz for $2 and sold it for $149.99 plus shipping. Hey, Bubble Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. So there's an item that I'm going to show you and it is creepy. I don't think it's supposed to be creepy, but it's creepy. Anyway, I'm going to show you that. And then there's also this item that I'm like, I've never even would think to pick this up and I love it. So my goal garage sale season next summer is to find some of these. So stay tuned for those items. We're going to get started here. This is a featured members video. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Uh, these are members of my YouTube channel and I share their bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell high. And there's some good ones in this video. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so the first one comes from Butterfly Hustles. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely sub her up. She is a bolo finder. She takes you into the thrift stores and she shares with you items to be on the lookout for. What did she sell? She sold this Supreme Authentic Vest Khaki NFL Raiders Embroidered Patch Vest. Now, I know that Supreme is a bolo. I don't know where she got it. She didn't say, but she did pay 220. I'm sorry. She paid $150 for it and it sold for 220 so it might have been a retail arbitrage item. Not 100% sure it is new with tags, but um, definitely made some money. Uh, when you're buying retail arbitrage, your margins are not going to be as big, but Supreme is definitely a brand to look for. I do know from what I have heard that it can be uh, counterfeit a lot. So be very careful if you do find it. This right here, I just love this one because it is a vintage college sweatshirt pullover. These are missed so many times by people. Uh, they just don't know that they're a bolo. And uh, this one is pre-owned. You can see it's, you know, it's well-loved. It's got some condition issues, but you know what? It did not matter. So definitely be on the lookout. And at the Goodwill bins, I skipped the clothing and I know I should be looking for it because she found that at the bins. All right, this is an Orvis leather jacket. She said it sold super fast and she got it free. She sold this for $169.50 plus shipping. The next item comes from Mom Knows Treasures and this is her YouTube channel and she is doing fantastic over on YouTube. Let's get her to a thousand subscribers, you guys. I will link her down below. Go and sub her up and tell her that Bolo Buddy sent you, okay? Let's look at what she sold here. She sold this watermelon peacock uh, multicolor rhinestone brooch. I'm not seeing a peacock here. Are you seeing a peacock? But apparently it's a peacock. Does, maybe it's peacock colors. Yeah, peacock multicolor. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. All right, she got this um, in a brooch lot off of Mercari. The lot was 17, so her cost of goods for this item was about $2, and she took a best offer of $32 plus shipping on this. These are Pottery Barn um, lunch plates. They are like trick-or-treat, Halloween, uh, anything Pottery Barn. I usually look up. It's a pretty good brand. It usually has a pretty good sell-through rate, and these are Halloween, so that makes it even better. She got these at the Salvation Army for $1.99, and she sold them for $59.99 plus shipping. This next item is a Portland, Oregon Christmas ornament from 1989. Betty Gimarelli, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. First year gold plated. She got this on Mercari in another ornament lot. And she sold, um, let's see, I'm sorry, hang tight here says Mercari, $4. So maybe it was $4. And I don't know what the best offer she took was. She didn't tell me that. So I apologize. But um, usually with best offer, you know, there's a certain range that resellers are willing to take. So LP record, she purchased this on whatnot. Um, she paid 40 for it. And she sold it. Uh, that was 40 all in with uh, tax and shipping on whatnot. 
and she sold it for $166 on Mercari. You guys, if you're not on Whatnot, maybe you don't want to sell on Whatnot, but you can definitely go and source on Whatnot. My Whatnot link is down below. It is a referral link. You will get $10 if you use that link to join. And that's a credit to shop. I am going to be on Whatnot selling eventually. I would love for you to follow me. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. And that link down below will take you to my Whatnot. So follow me. Um, and Franklin Hill Ventures is another one that's over there that's um, a member. And I know there's other people too. But definitely consider buying and selling on Whatnot. All right. So that was a really good uh, super score there. Got junk in our trunk. Um, awesome channel. She's doing these amazing videos. Why did I buy it? And I will tell you, these are packed with knowledge. She has done estates for a long time. So she's super knowledgeable. Love her channel. Sub her up. Link down below. This is a Braille book. And she got this Braille book for, it was in a scrapbook lot. She paid two bucks for the scrapbook lot and she took a best offer of $55 and it sold in one day. So fast sales are my favorite sales. Vintage Christmas skinnies playing cards. How cool are these? Um, this, she put ephemera in the title, which is a great idea. People will use these to crafts. Uh, this is kind of an unexpected item, not so much big money, but very cool. Yard sale, 50 cents, and she sold these for a best offer of 25 plus shipping. Let me zoom in. So really um, great for crafting and junk journals and stuff like that. This is the one I was telling you about at the beginning. I, I never would have picked these up. They are woven, rattan, raffia, wicker, trivet, hot pads, boho, hippie. Check them out. They're beautiful. I love them. Oh, my goodness. I just think they're fantastic. She sold these for, um, let's see. She sold one set for 35 and one set for a best offer of 50. She said they sell fast. She picks them up at yard sales and she waits until she has enough to put them in lots like this. So very, very cool item. Here's the other lot she sold. So if you knew about these in the comments and have sold them, let me know. And if you didn't know about it, let me know that as well because this one is new to me and I am definitely gonna be on the lookout. Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. She has an amazing eBay store. She finds, I, I just, the most incredible items. Uh, everything in her store is odd, unique, and different. So check it out. She sold this Wee Forest Folk Sun Snoozer, uh, Donna Peterson. And she got this at the Goodwill for $4.50 and sold it for $78 plus shipping. This guy right here is an antique Chinese temple statue, carved wooden man with a beard. It says wood junk God. I don't know what all that means, but those are her keywords. And obviously those keywords work because she sold this for $95 and she got it at an estate sale for 20. Mark Roberts Halloween Witch. Um, let's get the full body here. So this is her first photo. And then this is the full body shot. So definitely very, very good. Uh, Facebook Marketplace buy, $18.50, and she sold this for $135 plus um, shipping. So yeah, definitely check her out. Amazing eBay store. Vintage Spice. She has a newer YouTube channel, but I am going to say that I highly recommend it. If you like the style of what solds that I do, where I just go in and I screen share and show you my what solds, that is what she's doing. But the cool thing is, is she sells really cool stuff. Um, she also sells on Depop. So if you guys want to learn more about Depop and Mercari, she's got those over there as well. Poshmark also. But um, she's got some really cool stuff. I'm really always impressed by her what sold videos. She sold this vintage Estee by Estee Lauder. It's a cologne spray. And she got this at an estate sale for 50 cents and it sold for $156.39 plus shipping and it is new in the box. Um, I do want to take you over to the Toy Attic YouTube channel. And if you are putting ORMD on your um, box, which is what I have been doing for perfume, apparently the post office has changed their guidelines and there is a new sticker that you have to put on your box or it's gonna be returned to you. Um, she had three, I think it was two or three boxes returned to her. She talks about it in the video. She also gives you a um, PDF that you can create your own sticker 
of what the sticker needs to look like. That's in the description of the video. I highly recommend if you are selling perfume to go watch this video and make sure you have this on your package when you ship it. Um, it's just, you know, something that has changed. I didn't know about it until I saw her video. So I will try to remember to link it down below. But if I forget, just go over to Toy Attic and you'll see it. This is the thumbnail right here. But she also has an amazing channel where she talks about a lot of vintage um, items. Really, really good stuff. So uh, definitely subscribe to her as well. All right, this is another item from Vintage Spice. It's a Ron Sadler Canada Goose Decoy. Some of the goose decoys can go for big money. Um, definitely look them up if you see them. She got this at an estate sale for five bucks and took a best offer of $49.50. This is a miniature uh, dollhouse artisan signed border terrier puppy dog realistic. And she got this at an online auction for $9 and sold it for $45.99 plus shipping. Amazing steals and deals. His store always makes me smile. He is like a major bolo finder. But what I love is he's not afraid to sell bread and butter. So if you are looking for an item to buy for a Christmas gift or something like that, check out these eBay stores, you guys. They have fantastic stuff. I absolutely love this one. Um, so amazing steals and deals. That's his eBay store. But he is also known as I buy chit, C H I T on um uh, this one right here is a uh, winky face coin purses. These are from 1955, Hong Kong. And it's a, a coin purse lot. And you know what? I don't know. I forgot to go back in and write down where he got it and what he paid for it. So I apologize. But he sold it for $75. He picks stuff up for a good price usually. He shops a lot at estate sales and stuff like that. This right here, this clarinet. He got it at an estate sale for $50 and he sold this thing for $850. It is a LeBlanc Paris wood vintage clarinet with original case. How cool and fancy is that? Super cool, right? And this um, Mastercraft airplane. And again, I didn't write down the information, so I apologize. Maybe if you're watching, Christopher, if you can put in the comments where you got it and what you paid for it. I totally messed up and forgot to write it down. Uh, but this sold for $250 plus shipping. So, I mean, he has got an amazing store. I've actually featured his entire store. I will try to remember to link that down below as well. Just a girl making a living thrift. And this is Double T's Treasures. And she has an awesome YouTube channel. Go and sub her up. She um, Let's get her to 2,000, guys. Sub her up. Um, let's see how many subs we can get her. She sold... This Win Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Again, kind of an unexpected bolo. Um, she got this at, says free. It was a personal item. So it was in her closet. Somebody had bought it for her and she's like, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to sell it on eBay. You guys go through your closets, sell your own stuff. But tell me this in the comments. I don't know about you, but me personally, I absolutely hate selling my personal items. Like it's just no fun. I don't want to source in my house. I want to go out and I want to source. So um, if you have that same issue, let me know in the comments. Like, do you just donate your own items when you know you could make money on them? Guilty. I do force myself to list some personal items, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I, I know there's people that can relate to that. Just let me know in the comments. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. She sold this for $53 plus shipping. This is a hard to find Bath and Body Works uh, plug-in Halloween haunted house from 2016. She got this at the Goodwill for $6 and sold it for $49.97 with free shipping. This here is a new Le Couvent Des Minimus. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Verbena and Lemon. It is a body splash and she got three of these. She got these on Facebook Marketplace for $5 each and sold all three of them for $269.91 plus shipping. So that is pretty incredible. I'm guessing it's a discontinued uh, body splash. And you can see it doesn't look full, but a lot of times um, for these older things, they will evaporate some. Um, but it looks like she had three of them. This comes from Antiques from Karen Janet, and she's doing some Facebook market stuff on some bigger items. So if you guys are not utilizing Facebook Marketplace for big stuff, you can definitely sell some stuff. She um, inherited a 
we'll call it a hoard. Um, her mother was into, I think she had a store. I always, I'm not, I don't have the best memory, you guys. Um, so I kind of forget things. And I've talked about this in the past, but her mom did something and had all of these amazing vintage items. And she sells a lot of them on um, her YouTube channel. So she goes live and has selling events. So check that out. Uh, she will be linked down below. But she also sells on eBay. And these items sold on Facebook Marketplace. Look at this amazing safe. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. If my husband would have seen this, he would have been like, that is amazing. He would have loved it. Um, this was actually shipped through Uship, and she sold this for $2,500. It's an antique 19th century cast iron hobnail safe with the key. Is that awesome or what? I think it's incredible. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. Wow. Okay. The next item is the creepy item. Ah! It's like, I don't want to look. It's so creepy. It looks like, I don't know if it looks real or I, I just, I don't even know what's happening here. Um, just, ah, what do you think? Creepy? I don't know. I think it's creepy. Okay. Vintage Wolf and Wine Greniker Mannequin, $400 or best offer. Uh, she ended up selling this, I think for the $400 and the buyer paid the shipping on that. So definitely, definitely different. It kind of looks real. What do you guys think? Creepy? Oh, okay. This shelving units, um, $50. Okay. So these shelving units, $50 welded angle iron plywood shelves. So again, cleaning out this estate. Um, I think she's getting ready to move. So she's just really trying to, uh, get everything out. She sold these for a hundred dollars. Um, it was 50, but they, she delivered. So she got an extra 50 bucks for delivery. So not too shabby, right? Okay. Impressions created. Um, here we go. This is an eBay store. This is a newer member. So if you're following the stores that I talk about, go on in and give this one a heart so you can follow great, great stuff. Great items, lots of variety. Ooh, I love these Lucite candles. These are super cool. And they even have the little candle holders. Make a great Christmas gift. Sunbeam uh, Toaster. Thrift store, $5.95. This sold on auction for $96 plus shipping. The next item here is this Tim Langholz Art Pottery Bowl. How cool is this? Um, it's pretty incredible, actually. Look at the detail. And there's what it looks like on the bottom. She got this at an online auction for $6 and sold it for a best offer of $265 plus shipping. The next item is this antique 19, or I'm sorry. The next one is this 1866 Johnson's New Illustrated Family Atlas with descriptions complete. And it does say read. How incredible is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's what she said. She um, got this at an auction for $5. She took a best offer of $500. The person, and, and it was damaged. The person that bought it was taking out the maps and sells the maps individually. So somebody bought this to sell the pages individually. How incredible is that story? Super cool, right? The next item comes from Vichy's Treasures. This is her eBay store. You can check it out down below. Lots of cool stuff. And what did she sell? She sold more of this Fire King Jadeite. She's been doing really, really good with this. You uh, saw this in another video, but these are additional items that she has sold. $4 each um, and sold for $59.95 plus shipping. This right here is a Penny Bright doll from 1963. Um, it's a bridesmaid dressed with a blonde bob hair. And she got this for a dollar at a flea market and sold it for $39.95 plus shipping. These are McKenzie Child's salt and pepper shakers. McKenzie Child's is an excellent brand to pick up. Definitely look it up if you see it. She got these at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold them for $99.95 plus shipping. Pratt School of Professional Studies. You guys, these are 1974 curriculum cards. This is what they look like. How interesting. 
Pretty cool, right? And she got these at a flea market for a dollar and took a best offer of $55 plus shipping. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Oh, um, I'm going to have to say I love that hobnail safe. That was incredible, um, but a lot of money. <laughs> Um, again, if you want to join memberships, you can feel free to do that. If not, no pressure. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me an emoji of an owl or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.